Good morning to all. My name is Suresh and today I would like to talk on our recent research entitled Magnetic Iron Carbonate Nanoparticles for T2 weighted MRI imaging of in vivo lung tumors. We all know that cancer is one of the deadliest diseases in the world. To conquer this, three promising strategies such as chemotherapy, radiotherapy and surgery were developed and successfully utilizing in clinic. However, due to the limitations of chemo and radiotherapy, surgery remains the primary choice for cancer treatment in clinic. To this end, MRI stands as a promising tool to further assist the surgeons for locating the tumors efficiently. But most of the clinical MRI scans require contrast agents to further improve the sensitivity and diagnostic accuracy. As a result, several contrast agents were investigated and some are approved by FDA for clinical applications. Later stage, these clinically approved contrast agents were withdrawn from market due to their toxic effects and non-biocompatibility nature. To overcome the biosafety issues, several biocompatible ligands coated nanoparticles were developed for MRI imaging with excellent outcomes. However, these coating on nanoparticles greatly diminishing the contrastability, contrastability of nanoparticles as well as synthesis complexity and scalability. Recently, carbonate-based nanoparticles shown excellent biocompatibles both in vitro and in vivo level. But utilization of direct magnetic metal carbonates for MRI applications is rarely studied. Therefore, here we fabricated a uh, ligand free stable iron carbonate nanoparticles for in vivo imaging. We have achieved uh, iron carbonate nanoparticles via two step process. Uh, later on, uh, the fabricated nanoparticles displayed uh, 17 nanometer in size with good dispersion. Further, we confirmed the successful formation of iron carbonate nanoparticles by XPS analysis. Later, MRI font images revealed that iron carbonate nanoparticles exhibited T2 weighted contrast properties in a concentration dependent manner. The calculated R2 values for iron carbonate nanoparticles are two folds higher than the clinically approved contrast agents. In general, carbonates are supposed to be decomposed in acidic medium. However, we did not notice any significant differentiation of nanoparticles. It may due to the quick decarbonation and the carbonation reactions in Fe carbonate, which facilitates good stability of iron carbonate nanoparticles. Taking advantages of the remarkable T2 contrast abilities, we further performed in vivo lung tumor imaging and observed remarkable T2 contrast ability in the tumor region after 5 hour post IV injection of iron carbonate nanoparticles. Moreover, contrast abilities were well maintained in the lung tumor region around 1 to 5 hour compared to the gadolinium based complex small molecules. Furthermore, our in vivo biosafety studies reveal that Fe carbonate nanoparticles are highly biocompatible and no significant toxic effects to the major, organ, major organs. Thank you for your attention and I am looking forward to meeting you at Merck Eng Scientist Forum. Thank you very much.